Archer Slaymaker, international boxer, who's I'm joined once again by Brad Jacobs. Brad, an emphatic stoppage by Bernardo Lopez. What did you make of it? Yeah, terrific. Look, it was a good fight back and forth. This is what happens in world championship fights. Champion did his job. Challenger was terrific, but not on tonight. But what, what's next for Bernardo Lopez now? I mean, we have to look at the possibility of Robesy Ramirez, who's fighting in Japan in July. Maybe these two meet uh, near the end of the year. What's the likelihood of that happening before Basie comes through in July in, in Japan? Sorry, before that fight uh, being made. Through, yeah, have to see. And Michael Conlon, obviously, second world title defeat. Now, where, where do you think Mick goes? It, it's really about what Mick wants to do in his family, you know. So uh, we'll have to sit down and talk to him afterwards. See, see what he thinks he wants to do. He's such a great guy and a great family guy, and we just want the best for him if it's continuing to fight or not. I'm going to quickly touch on the purse bid situation. Artur Betabiev versus Callum Smith, August 19th in Quebec. What a great, great fight. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, we're really looking forward to that in Quebec at the Videotron Center. It's going to be a great night. You know, obviously, Betabiev is sort of a hometown Canadian now and he's been there for a lot of years. And Callum Smith, I mean, top contender. So it's going to be a really, really exciting night. Simon Keane is on the card. <laughs> I've heard there's a rumor of Guido Vianello being in the opposite corner on that night. Is that's, there anything? That's a possibility not, not uh, completed. Do you hope to get that fight over the line at all? We hope to, yeah. Christian Mbili, is there any news of his, of his opponent at all? Of who? Of Mbili? No, I'm not, I'm not uh, sure on that one yet. And the next fight, June 10th, Josh Taylor versus Lopez. What a fight. Just get your word on that. Yeah, it'll be a cracker, that one. Uh, you know, obviously, Taylor, the only thing going there is that Taylor's been out of the ring so long. You know, Tiafimo has been uh, somewhat active, uh, good contender, so we'll have to see. Just the last one for me, Amy Lomachenko. Uh, it was reported 150,000 making new buys. Can you comment on that at all? Uh, we don't comment on buys, but we were happy with how the event went. And there was a lot of discussion on round 10, obviously being scored in favor of Devin Haney. What did you make of the scoring as a whole in that fight? I mean, at the end, I, you know, sitting there at ringside, I had a draw. So, uh, you know, you could see it going anyway. Perfect. Thank you, Tom.